Welcome everybody to the first episode of NXT in the new era of NXT. We're starting off our first episode with an amazing clash that we promised to provide for you all with Cassius Ono taking on Alexander Wolf of Sanity. And wow, wow, NXT, this is a new era of NXT. We have the raw talent. We bring the SmackDown. We are NXT. NXT's resident knockout artist Cassius Sono, you know, is somebody who has been here before. He doesn't want to squander his opportunities. As I talked to him earlier this week, he said, um, he said he's been here before, and he doesn't want to leave because he loves NXT. He said this is the reason. He said he doesn't even want to go to the main roster. He wants to stay in NXT because he knows NXT is fun. This is where he never really finished a chapter essentially. But his opponents tonight are probably one of the most chaotic teams we have here in NXT Sanity. They see nothing but destruction. And tonight, obviously, you see they're going to try to destroy Cassius Ono. As you see, the NXT Tag Team Champions are making their arrival here as they had defeated the Authors of Pain before the Authors of Pain were moved up. And as you can see, Sanity, nothing but destruction. That is their claim to fame here in NXT. They seek destruction. And like I said, chaos, destruction is what makes up Sanity. And honestly, right now, they're on the tear right now. They're looking to destroy everybody and they're really gonna put the tag team division on notice. But right now we're worried about the singles match between Cassius Ono and Alec Zanderwolf. As we get ready here for our match, our first match here on NXT tonight, the ref, he rings the bell, and let's get this match started. Oh, as Cassius Ono already picks up, whoa, oh, he picks up Alexander Wolf already with a powerful suplex move. Oh, Alexander Wolf with a bicycle kick already. As you can see, Cassius Ono is fighting back out of it. As you know, he is a knockout artist, so he has a glass jaw, so he has to hit harder. You see, he just hit him with a combo of hits and chops. And now, oh, he's trying to go for a belly-to-belly -belly suplex, but Wolf got out of it. And now, he's trying to reverse it. Nothing but reversals right now. Is somebody, as everybody's trying to find their, oh, a running elbow. But as I was saying, everybody's trying to find their positioning in this match between these two. So it's literally back and forth right now. Oh, another chop right there. But he gets out of it with a reverse into a fireman's carry. Now, what's going on here? Alexander Wolf's throwing catches Ono with an Irish whip and another running boot. Kick to the back, but Ono gets out of it. And now Ono tries to reverse in a German suplex from the German himself, Alexander Wolf. And now Ono gets out of it with a running flip neck breaker right there. Catches Ono is hyped right now. As you see, he picks up Alexander Wolf, goes for something, but Wolf gets out of it. Kick to the back. I have never seen this much out of Alexander Wolf before. This is really surprising with the elbow drop. Now he's stomping Cassius Ono right now. Oh, right hand. 
Whoa! And like, he hit him with some form of a reverse exploder. But look, Cash Zono is trying to attack Sanity. But I don't know if that's a smart move as he is not working. And now he goes in for a cravate neck breaker right there. Now he's picking up Wolf right now. What is he going for here? He's going for an Irish whip. It's pretty strong. Oh, he misses. What's going on? Oh! He just hit him with the right hand. A very vicious right hand. Like I said, the knockout artist has the hardest hits. Oh, look at that. The combination of hits he has done previously. Now he's Irish whipping him. Okay. Showing that athleticism from Cassius Ono. Now he's going for belly to belly, but it doesn't work again on Alexander Wolf. And now Alexander Wolf's trying to pick up Cassius Ono. Oh, now he's going to carry him. Kick to the back. But oh no. Oh no. Oh! He fakes him with the head, with the right hand. Oh no. Completely is undisturbed by that kick to the back as he's going for a body slam now. And now he's going for another cravate neck breaker. Cassius Ono is in the zone right now as he's hitting all these offensive moves on Alexander Wolf. Now he's throwing Wolf into the corner here for a clothesline. Why is he on the second rope? Oh, he's calling him. We we haven't really seen Casano do something like this. Look, good that he's coming to his senses. Oh, nice T-bone suplex from Alexander Wolf. Kick to the back again. This time it affects Ono. Oh, look at that big Damo throws a chair into the ring. What is Wolf going for here? Oh, he goes for a Death Valley driver. I think the rev did not uh, catch. Uh, Killian Dane throw a chair in the ring. And now Wolf is back on offense right now. Oh, now he's going for some sort of power bomb. But whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Ono gets out of it. Ono is out of it. Oh, running bicycle kick. And now look, Killian Dane is distracting Cassius Ono right now. Trying to, you know, get Alexander Wolf the victory from distraction. Because that's what Sanity does. And now look at that. Oh, my God. What a powerful move right there. He does not know how big he is. Look at look at Alexander Wolf. He's moshing right now. He's going crazy. That's just how crazy he is. Oh, oh okay. A reverse. Cassius Ono kips right back up. Now what's going to go on here? Okay. Cassius Ono is going for something here. Whoa. A pile driver because that's what we do here in NXT. Any move is legal. And now what is Cash Zono going for? That that signature discus big boot here? Signature discus big boot. But I don't think Cash Zono is done right now. I think we know what we want. The fans are excited from this match. And now Cash Zono here. Rolling elbow. And if you know anything about that rolling elbow, it is very powerful and nobody gets up from it. As you can see, look. One more time from this angle. A rolling elbow and look at Alexander Wolf toppling to the ground right now. And now he's going for the pin to get the victory. It's over with now. The match is over with. Cassius Ono has won. But look, Killian Dane distracting the referee once again. What is Cassius Ono going to do about it? And he's he's just, he's just stomping Alexander Wolf. He wants to put his hands on Killian Dane. But I don't know what's going on right now. He's trying to, he's, look at him. He's being distracted by Sanity and he gets back into the ring. Now, what's going on here? Oh, wait. Alexander Wolf has him up for a stun gun. Oh, my God. He goes for a stun gun off of the distraction from Sanity. Two, three. Alexander Wolf defeats Cassius Ono. Wow. What a, a contest, first of all. Respect to both men, but look at this. You see that Death Valley driver right there? Picture a perfect Death Valley driver right there. Then Cassius Ono goes for the rolling elbow, basically knocking out Alexander Wolf as we see him toppling to the ground. And with this, this would have gave him the victory that he so rightfully deserved. But he was distracted by Killian Dane, as we are about to see, hopefully on the replay screen. He goes for the pin. Look at this. What? And then look at this. Killian Dane interferes. 
and then Alexander Wolf hits a picture perfect stun gun, basically knocking out Cassius Ono because he's so distracted by what's going on outside of the ring. One, two, three. Alexander Wolf wins, defeating Cassius Ono as Sanity is going back in the ring to celebrate their victory. Wow, Sanity, man. I'll tell you about Sanity. They're pretty chaotic if I... If I do say so myself, you know, Sanity is very chaotic. Coming up next week here on NXT, we will already be having a championship match as we will have the WWE United Kingdom Champion Noam Dar defend against gentleman Jack Gallagher in, pro in what promises to be an incredible matchup. But coming up next, we're gonna have another matchup for you guys as we will have NXT's Destroyer Samoa Joe taking on the lovely Sami Zayn. Let's get this match on a roll right now. We're back here on NXT for an incredible match live for Full Sail. Oh, look, the fans are excited right now. Former NXT champion himself. Look, the fans are happy to see Sami Zayn back here and where he belongs in NXT. Sami Zayn must be ready for competition as he's going against a former adversary of him, a former adversary, which is Samoa Joe. If you didn't know, Samoa Joe defeated Sami Zayn a while back and which would eventually lead Samoa Joe to becoming an NXT champion. But this match right here promises to be very big because we all know what Sami Zayn can do. We all know what Samoa Joe can do in that wrestling ring. So when they collide tonight, it should be promises to be an amazing match. Look at Sami Zayn. He's ready. And the NXT fans are ready to here live at Full Sail University. Oh, the destroyer himself, Samoa Joe. He's here. If you don't know who Samoa Joe is, you need to learn. But just in case you don't want to, I'll let you know right now. Samoa Joe is a two-time NXT champion. He's been around the block here at NXT before. Samoa Joe is known as the destroyer, the Samoan submission machine. Let me tell you something about Samoa Joe. He may look big. He may look like somebody... You don't think it's a typical wrestler, but when he gets in that ring, he performs better than almost everybody. Samoa Joe has a good MMA background. He has amazing strikes in ring, and his Kokita clutch is one of the most, one of the best moves here in NXT. If you're putting a Kokita clutch, you are not getting out of it. With also, he has the muscle buster that is able to take out people as it did Tyson Kidd a few years back. Now that's just me telling you some information about Samoa Joe, but let's get into the match and see what Samoa Joe's actually gonna do to Sami Zayn. So we get this match started. Headbutt from Samoa Joe. Like I said, Samoa Joe is a striker. Look at that backhand, right hand kick to the stomach. And now he's gonna throw Sami Zayn with an Irish whip right there into a forearm hit. Told you Samoa Joe is a striker. Look at that, but Sami Zayn's fighting back now. Oh, a insecurity kick, but Joe gets out of the ring. He knows what's smart. Gets back in the ring, possibly to trick Sami Zayn. And now he's picking up Zayn for a, presuming a suplex. But Sami gets out of it with a nice reversal. He hits an uppercut of himself by himself right there, trying to show, wait a minute. Oh, a back body drop. Samoa Joe is not here for games tonight. Let's see what Joe is about to do now with Sami Zayn. Throws him into the barricade. Our steel enforced barricade. Oh, but Zayn gets out of it. Zayn's very smart. But look at that. Joe gets out of it with his own reversal. Punching Zayn in the stomach. And now he's throwing him into it. Into the steel enforced barricades and now joe's climbing the top turnbuckle this is something we've never seen before maybe he's trying to mess with the mind of Sami Zayn to get him off his game and now look at this another back body drop this time a little more vicious than usual and Sami Zayn just rolls out the ring 
And now Joe's going out of the ring. And now look at that, a big kick sending Sami Zayn out of it. And now he throws him back into the ring. I think Joe wants to destroy him now. Look at this, chop to the chest, a punch, kick, backhand. Now that, oh, he's trying to go for a combination, but Sami Zayn reverses it with a forearm hit. And now look at this, a DDT from Sami Zayn. And now what is Sami Zayn going for here? Another vicious headbutt from Samoa Joe. If you know anything about Joe, headbutts are kind of his thing. And now he throws Sami Zayn in the corner. Oh, another right hand. A chop to the chest. And now we don't know what Joe's about to do right now. And now he's going for a knee to the face, a jumping knee to the face. Now I know that has to hurt because Joe is not... A very small man he is almost 300 pounds so that's 300 pounds falling straight to your face and now Zane with a shoulder tackle reverse now he's picking up Joe picking him up again what is he going for you okay he's uh, he has Joe right now but what is what is Sammy Zane doing you see he waited too long now Joe got out of it oh hitting him right in the chest oh a reverse from Sammy Zane himself and now Sammy Zane going for another DDT and now what is Zane going for here? Frog splash! But I don't think he caught all of it as he did indeed hurt himself and Joe. And now Sami Zayn's picking up Joe. Or I should say waiting for Joe. Another uppercut from Samoa Joe. Let me tell you, this match has been very brutal so far. I'm not even going to lie. And now what is Joe? He puts him in the corner. I think he's setting up for that insecurity kick. Insecure kick on Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is done. Now he's going for the pinfall. One, two. Sami Zayn kicks out of it. Incredible contest between these two men right now. And now what's going on here? Oh, Sami Zayn with another DDT. Seems to be his go-to move. And now Sami Zayn is fired up right now. What is he going for here? Oh, trying to break Samoa Joe's back with his knee. And now what is Sami Zayn going for here? Clothesline. Another clothesline. Oh, what is he going for here? Oh, it's pop-up drop kick from Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is on fire right now. And I think he's going to go for that patented blue thunder bomb. Is he going for it here? Oh, Joe reverses it falling flat on Sami Zayn. And now what is Joe going for here? He's going for that picture perfect senton drop right there. And now he's picking up Zayn. I think we know what's going on right here. He's picking up Zayn. He's going for a suplex. A dragon suplex. And now he's going for a straight jacket suplex. Oh my goodness. Now what's going on here? Oh, backhand to Zayn. Zayn's trial still fighting. He has that fighting spirit. Flatliner from Sami Zayn. Now he's going for the pin right now. Joe kicks out without even the referee counting. Joe has so much resilience. It's it's incredible. And now look at Sami Zayn going for a, a tribute to Mr. Perfect right there. Okay, now he's turning over Joe. What is Joe anticipating? Going after that leg that's gave Joe problems previously in his career. And now Sami Zayn is going for that DDT. But this time Joe gets out of it. He's not playing no more. And now he's gonna, oh, uppercut. Told you Joe was a prominent striker, so that stuff really has to take a toll on Sami Zayn. And now what is he going for here? Oh, Joe's going for that muscle buster I mentioned earlier. If he hits you with this, you are practically dead. Boom, muscle buster. And now look at this replay. Look how vicious it is. Drops you straight on your upper back, shoulders, and neck area. Now he's going to pin Sami Zayn for the one, two, three. Samoa Joe is your victor tonight. What a contest. Now, we must say Sami Zayn put his all into this match, but his good just wasn't good enough tonight. Look at that beautiful picture-perfect insecurity. We see it again from another angle. I'm surprised the match wasn't over from there. As Joe did go for the pin, but the match wasn't over from there. One, two, he kicks out. Then look at this combination of suplexes as he hit him with a, a straight jacket suplex. But look at that flatliner from Sami Zayn as he goes for the pinfall. But look at this. Joe instantly kicks out. 
Then he hits him with that muscle buster. Look at Joe. Joe's excited. Joe has the victory here. Wait, what is going on? Joe! Joe, what is Joe doing? He is stomping Sami Zayn right now. Stomping Sami Zayn right now. What is he doing? Oh, no. He's going for that senton drop. Oh, my goodness. The referee is signaling for somebody to come out. And now he's throwing Zayn into the corner. What is he? Oh! Insecurity kick. Look at Joe. Joe's ready. Joe's looking at him. He's looking at him like he's ready to knock him out with the Coquina Clutch. Oh, no. He's hitting him with the Coquina Clutch. Oh, no. Like I said before, this move is very dangerous as it takes out opponents. Sami Zayn instantly taps out because he doesn't want to be unconscious. And the crowd is just shocked right now at the actions of Samoa Joe. But to be honest, can we expect this from Samoa Joe? As we get ready for our main event tonight, what promises to be an amazing match, we have the American legend, the gold medalist himself, WWE Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle, and a homecoming to Orlando, taking on the Swiss Cyborg, the future of the WWE, Cesaro, coming up next here on NXT. And before we get into our main event, let's notice let's take a moment to reflect on what's going to happen next week as we have the new day taking on gallows and anderson in a number one contenders match with the winners taking on sanity for the nxt tag team championships at nxt takeover chicago and we are ready for our main event kurt angle comes out Kurt Angle, not a stranger to NXT, as he not a stranger to NXT, as he's been scouting opponents when he was the Raw GM, and also he is not a stranger to the area of Florida, as during his time off from WWE years ago, he used to compete here all the time. And Kurt Angle is ready for action and what promises to be an amazing match from two powerhouses, the Suplex Machine taking on the Swiss Cyborg. Kurt Angle wearing his gold medal oh Kurt Angle is excited and I'm excited as well to see the amazing Kurt Angle return here in a WWE ring We're getting ready for the return of the Swiss Cyborg Cesaro. Cesaro here. Look at that shooting his arm cannons. And now he's getting ready to rip off the suit like a real superhero. Look at that power ripping off the suit. Cesaro is ready to go. Like I said, Cesaro is one of the most impressive WWE superstars as he's lifted giants with ease, such as the Big Show, the Great Khali, Mark Henry. Cesaro is a very powerful man. And let's see what he's going to be able to do here at NXT as he wants a career resurgence here at NXT. Shooting those arm cannons once again. As you can see, Cesaro has his shoulder taped up because he recently had a, a shoulder injury not too long ago. So that should be a target of interest for Kurt Angle in this match as he should probably attack that if he wants to get the victory. But we don't know. We don't question Kurt Angle. We know what he's capable of and we're going to watch this incredible match happen. Look at Cesaro rubbing off the ropes. Let's get this match started here as they already start with the classic collar and elbow tie up. And Cesaro puts Kurt Angle in the corner. And what's going on here? A show of respect as no one attacks each other, but Cesaro already goes for a suplex, but Kurt Angle, always a thinking man, reverses it, and now he's going for a headlock of his own, a uppercut, a right hand, knocking Cesaro down. It's a powerful hit, another one. Is he going for a trifecta here? Oh, a headbutt. Now he's going 
throwing Cesaro into the corner. A hit to the back. A hit to the back again, but Cesaro gets out of it. Now Cesaro going for a, a T-bone suplex of his own. Like I said, Cesaro is a very powerful man, so this is easy to him to lift somebody like Kurt Angle up. Who is not a cruiserweight of his own, might I add. Kurt Angle is a pretty huge man, if I do say so myself. And now, Cesaro is throwing Kurt Angle. What is he going for here? Oh, it's a running, spinning uppercut. I call that a super uppercut right there. And now, what is he doing? He's carrying Kurt Angle. What is? I wonder what he's going for here. Okay, putting Kurt Angle down. But look at Kurt Angle reversing it, hitting Cesaro in the stomach. And now, oh, we're going to see the first. Oh, he reverses the German suplex. Cesaro also a very thinking man as he speaks five different languages. He's throwing him. Kurt Angle with a super uppercut. And now, look at Cesaro going to the second rope. Something we don't really see from him going for those... A jumping straight to the face kind of a tribute to Stone Cold Steve Austin right there if I do say so myself and now he's throwing Kurt Angle over the top rope oh but Kurt Angle gets out of it like I said Kurt Angle's a thinking man uppercut of his own the uppercut masters getting uppercutted now Kurt Angle's going for a kick kicked him in the stomach now he's going for an Irish whip and now he's going for a release German suplex that's going to be the first of many suplexes from the wrestling machine, Kurt Angle, the suplex machine. And now Kurt Angle, oh, punches Cesaro after Cesaro was trying to punch him. And now he's throwing Cesaro up. What is Kurt Angle going for? A clothesline right there. And now he's going for something. He's trying to go for a, a body slam, I assume. And now Cesaro's going for those that powerful power bomb he does. But Kurt Angle gets out of it with the of right hands and now he's going for a jumping clothesline and look at the fans cheering NXT because we performed the best matches oh look at that a shout out to the free agent himself John Cena hitting his own variation of the STF look at this look at this is, is Cesaro going to tap out here look at Cesaro he's not doing anything wait a minute Cesaro gets out of it here Cesaro gets out of it elbow to the face of Kurt Angle and now, oh, Cesaro, what is Cesaro going for here? Underhook. What is he going for? Underhook slam, I assume. Look at the power. Able to hold him for seconds. Oh, slams him right there. Double underhook. Now Cesaro taunting. Oh, he's punching Kurt Angle. What is he about to do to Kurt Angle right now? Throws Kurt Angle to the corner. Oh, uppercut, 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 uppercut. uppercut. Now what is Cesaro going for? I think he's going for a fury of uppercuts into the corner. Uppercut one. Uh, uppercut two. And now what is Cesaro going for here? A picture perfect drop kick. And now what is he going for here? Jumping uppercut. He just lifted Kurt Angle up in the air for an uppercut. Cesaro now going for a gun rich slam right there. A gun rich suplex might I add. And now look at this, stepping on Kurt Angle's arm. And now what is he gonna go for here? Oh, he's going for a sharpshooter. We've seen Cesaro have done this before and it's almost worked. Will it work tonight against Kurt Angle? As Kurt Angle's trying to get out of it. You see Cesaro trying to wrench it in lower, but look at that, Kurt Angle gets out of it because Kurt Angle is a technician. He's a, a very smart man when it comes to pro wrestling in the wrestling ring. And now Cesaro going for a German suplex of his own. What a match we're having tonight here in our main event of NXT. And now what is going on here? Oh, a jumping clothesline. Kurt Angle. What's next from Kurt Angle? Oh, he's going for... Oh, Cesaro gets out of the German suplexes. Oh, an uppercut from Kurt Angle. What is going on in this match? It's reversal after reversal. As Kurt Angle's in the corner right now. Now what is going on here? Oh, T-Bone Suplex from the Suplex Machine himself. Oh, now what is Cesaro doing here? Oh, Kurt Angle, oh, a jumping clothesline again, trying to power up here. He's trying to power up, I think uh, Kurt Angle's trying to come back here. And now what is he doing? Throwing Cesaro into the corner. Oh, right hand. 
Oh, he's putting him up to the top rope. I don't know if, if Kurt Angle wants to do that after the broken neck situation he's had previously, but I don't think he cares. I think it's all about Kurt Angle performing the best matches here in NXT. And now he's going for a... Oh, a superplex on Cesaro. A superplex. And now what is Kurt Angle doing? He's climbing the top turnbuckle. Frog splash. One. Two. Cesaro kicks. Oh, no. Kurt Angle stops the count himself. He wants to continue. Punches to the face of Cesaro. This is the side of Kurt Angle I don't, I don't think Cesaro wants to see. The more savage side. And now Cesaro reversed it. Boom. A reverse from Kurt Angle himself. And now he's going for it. The classic suplex right there. And now he's picking up Cesaro again. Throwing him into the corner. What's next? Oh. Kurt Angle going for a tornado DDT. Kurt Angle is excited right now. Now is he going to be able to hit those combination of German suplexes? And I think he is. One. Two. Oh. Three of German suplex. I think this is the end of the match for Cesaro and Kurt Angle is waiting for Cesaro to get up to hit that patented Angle Slam. Oh! Angle Slam! One, two, three. Kurt Angle wins the match. He defeats Cesaro in an amazing, incredible match, if I do say so myself. And now look at that launching uppercut from Cesaro. Look at that picture perfect frog splash from Kurt Angle. And look at this. A German suplex from Cesaro himself. Look at that angle slam. He twisted and contorted Cesaro. Look at it from another angle from one of our cameras in the crowd. For the one, two, three. Incredible match from these two. A show of athleticism right now. Kurt Angle happy right now in his first match in NXT. But right now, I'm receiving word that something is going on backstage between Samoa Joe and our NXT champion, AJ Styles, backstage in the locker room area. As you can see, look at AJ Styles now. AJ Styles and Samoa Joe are brawling right now. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, a backhand from Samoa Joe as he's throwing AJ Styles over. And now he's going for a back body drop on AJ Styles. Styles is just in his regular outside attire right now. And now what is going on here? He's throwing AJ Styles into a locker right now. And what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no, Joe. Joe's, don't do that. You are going to regret it. Power bomb into the locker on AJ Styles. Now he's looking at his prey right now. Samoa Joe just dominated our NXT champion. That is all the time we have here tonight here in NXT. Thank you for watching.